So today we are going to be bathing Rocco. Uh, Rocco is bathed about once a week. As you can see, he is pretty filthy. No rocks. His nose should not be that colour. His ears are dirty. His feet are dirty. Shows your dirty feet. Got other cat's fur in them. He's just generally pretty grubby. So today I'm going to tell you how I keep him clean. So we run a nice sink full of warm water. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. I have pre-squirted some baby shampoo so it's nice soapy water for him. And now we're going to pop him in and give him a wash. So I use Johnson's baby shampoo. Um, when we first got in my research, what were the sort of best things to use? And Johnson's baby shampoo seemed to be the thing that most people used. There are special pet shampoos out there, but they tend to be quite expensive. And so far we have found Johnson's baby shampoo works really well. So the first thing that I do is I get him lovely and damp all over just to get him used to the temperature of the water and just try to get his skin ready for the soap. Um, I'm going to turn his head back and just get his head wet and then we I squirt some shampoo onto my hand and basically I just give him a good rub. Now the bits that get really dirty are turn around for my pal, under his neck here that gets really filthy. Let's so give that a good soap. He is covered in scratches at the moment because he keeps fighting with his brothers and sisters. We'll give his tail a good scrub. His tail gets very dirty because sometimes he likes to pee and poo on it. So I'm going to get a bit more soap and then do his legs and armpits. He gets really dirty here under his armpits. I don't know if cats have armpits but that's what I mean. He is usually always pretty good. He lets me get him nice and clean. Um, his tummy gets really dirty as well and sort of his inside back legs. We're going to give that a good clean. And now he's nice and soapy. I'm just going to rinse some of this soap off of him. Good boy. So look. This very part of his nose is quite dirty, so I'm just gonna make sure I get that. Get the dirt off of there. Give his face and his mouth a good wipe. Um it looks like I'm being pretty rough, but um I'm sort of as firm as he can take it really because he does he does get very dirty and you've got to sort of really scrub some of the parts um as soon as he starts to get sort of perturbed though we'll stop his ears are really dirty today i'm not worried about the inside of his ears at the moment whilst he's in the water I'll try and get some of this dirt off of his nose come on see I'm just going to give him a quick look over to see if he looks any cleaner. He's still a little bit dirty under the armpits. So let's just get back in there. Give that a good clean. Good boy. Uh, he'll do his paws. Get those lovely and clean. The other one. And then get his back paws. Get those nice and clean. Head's clean. Would you turn up for me? Get all that off. Good boy. Okay. Now we've got the nose. Oh, I've got a little bit of water up his nose there. Um, the dirt on his nose comes off sort of quite easily, really. You can kind of like pick it off almost. It's just like a dirty coating on his nose. 
Okay, good boy. So, because he's got no fur, he's not very good at regulating his body temperature. He has to work quite hard to keep warm. Um, he is starting to, his ears are quite cold now, so he is nice and clean. I'm going to get him out. So, stay there for a minute, huh? Stay there. Come on then. So this towel is a microfiber pet towel, it's, it's for dogs, uh, the idea is it dries them quickly and the towel itself dries quickly. Um, it's really soft as well so it is perfect just for getting him dry. So I've given him a good dry off and now we're going to do his ears and claws. So I get him into a better position for this. just basically on his back and I make sure he is nicely wrapped up in the towel. There we go. He is ready for his ears. So to do his ears I use these clean ear finger pads and the idea is they pop on over your finger like this and then you can just clean inside his ear so his ears get really dirty because obviously there's no hair in his ears to sort of trap the dirt so yeah we just sort of quite gently and carefully just get the dirt out from inside his ear so you can see you can see there sort of how dirty it is. And I'm just gonna go into the other ear and this basically is getting sort of the dirt on his outer ear off. So that's his ear and the pad just gets sort of the dirt from like the flappy bit and the edges here. So make sure those bits are all nice and done. So I get what I can with the finger pad. And then I'm gonna go in with a cotton bud. So these are just bog standard regular cotton buds and then what I'm going to do is very carefully because we don't want to don't want to damage his ear he, he's a little bit ticklish about this so you have to sort of be quite firm but also really gentle so I'm just getting the bits of dirt like that are on the sort of more inside of his ear and um, we did ask advice from a vet who sort of showed me the best way <laughs> to get the dirt out of his ears and it's all just sort of about being gentle and um, you just need to make sure his ears are clean so he doesn't mean look at that. that that's gross so we get through quite a few cotton buds like this how this is I'm taking a little bit longer than I usually do so he's getting a little bit agitated um but yeah you find all sorts of muck in his ears. You get the other cats, I find the other cats fur in his ears, I find fluff. So I'm just making sure they're nice and clean because we don't want them to get sort of ear infections or ear mites. Um, as you would with your own ears, sort of just be careful with the cotton bud. You don't want to put it in too far, you don't want to use too much pressure because you don't want to bust damage anything inside their ears. This ear is especially dirty today. What have you been doing? Uh, we also use ear drops on him uh, every sort of two weeks or so just to loosen up the dirt that's inside his ears a little bit to make it a little bit easier to clean those dainty little ears. So now I'm gonna take one of these pet wipes this is the bit he really doesn't like. Um, so I'm just gonna make sure all around his mouth is clean because he gets, he's got sort of like all these crevices that get dirt in. So it's really important to sort of get the dirt out of those little crevices. So that's what we're gonna do with the wet wipe next. So I've done a pretty good job already 
when he was in the water. I'm just getting those last little bits. Just giving his nose a little extra clean. Good boy. So the last job I'm going to do is a job he really dislikes and he knows it's coming. That's why he is getting a little bit restless. What we're going to do is make sure his claws are clean. Um, and again, because he doesn't have any fur to protect them, his claws, sort of his paws and claws take a lot of dirt. So if you hear his claws get quite dirty, they get a lot of muck on them. What I'm going to do now is just, hey buddy, I'm just going to use a wet wipe and get some of that dirt off of his claws. So he really, he doesn't like this because uh, cats, the pads on cat's feet are quite sensitive. So this is sort of, I suppose it's like the equivalent of being really ticklish and having your feet tickled. He just doesn't, doesn't really like it that much. So I'm quite gentle. We don't want to damage his claws. Um, his claws are due for a clipping. You just have to sort of pop his claw out by pushing on his pad so that you can get the actual claw. So if I show you there, you just, oh, you just push on the pad and the claw pops out. So that's one back foot done. So that is the dirt that has come off of his claws. <laughs> it's like the equivalent of cleaning out under nails, I guess. So that's that bit done. I'm just going to check him out for sort of cuts and scrapes just to make sure there's nothing I need to worry about. He has got some little cuts here from play, from fighting. So he gets a little bit too boisterous for the other cat and they don't really like that. So they do scratch at him a little bit and he does have, you can see on his back here, some little swipe marks where he has been well and truly swiped. And I've just noticed there's a little cut on his ear as well. But he is now much cleaner. I'm going to give him a dreamy as a treat. I'm going to go, pal. Good boy. Just a little treat for being a good boy. He didn't complain too much today. Good boy. There we go. Now, because it's summer, um, once he's bathed, I'm just going to pop him onto his blanket and leave him. If it was winter or a bit colder or it was chilly, um, I would pop a t-shirt on him straight after his bath just to maintain some of his body heat so he doesn't have to sort of try and exert himself too much to sort of get that, get that back. But there he is. A nice clean again boy. So there we go, I've just popped him back onto his blanket so he can sulk for a bit, go back to sleep and I've just popped the blanket around him just to keep him a little bit warm. But there we go, one nice clean Rocco. Rocco would like to say thank you very much for watching, uh, let us know below if you'd like to see any more videos about Rocco. Uh, if you'd like to know anything else about Rocco and what he gets up to. Um, Rocco says, don't forget to like and subscribe. And he will see you soon in another video.